Howdy guys, I'm Mephello8, your favorite Wolf Pro enthusiast, and welcome back to Fire Emblem Code of the Burger King. This is an FE8 hack made by Retina. Today it's time for Chapter 6. We're on a boat. I'm very happy that we're on a boat. I like boat maps, usually. Sometimes I don't, especially if there are cantors. But otherwise, boat maps are pretty cool. I'm actually one of those people who likes Phantom Ship and Sacred Stones quite a lot, actually, so maybe this one will be fun too. Ah, the smell of the open sea. Doesn't it truly put you at ease? No, it does not. Not even remotely, I suppose. Though I've still not a clue what comes next. Well then, just try and relax. We can put our- we can plot our grand return later. Indeed. And of course, it's raining. Oh, well. What are you complaining about? Rain doesn't hinder our ability in any way. That's great. The only thing it would do is maybe create some fog. Perfect for- oh, yep. Of a pirate attack. Predictable, really. The universe has a cruel sense of comedic timing. Well, time to rally the troops. Again. <laughs> True. Rain and fog. Well, luckily the rain will not be uh, hindering our movement, as they say. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so... Ooh, a very big one. We've got two boats sort of connected here. Let's see, the pirates are looking kind of meaty. 15 speed, 20 strength. Well, we can't really see much. I wonder if moving Ricardo would allow us to see more. Just barely. A couple of knights, hand axes, cool. Um... Well, I mean, I guess that's about all there is to see for this map, then. I guess we'll have to do some preparations, and we'll be right back. Alrighty, I should be ready to go, then. I don't really have any stat boosters that I want to give out. I have some in the convoy, things such as, uh, what is it again? Like, the angelic robe and energy ring, talisman body ring. I don't really want to give those out right now. I think my units are pretty, um, suited up, pretty good to go. They would be helpful in the now, but I might get a unit later that I like that, you know, maybe I'd rather use them on. We better not dawdle. The longer we're out here, the more risk we put ourselves in. If we can neutralize the captain, we'll be in a good place. Hopefully we have some torches. Any staff users we have can also help light the way. That is, assuming we properly prepared back in town. We did properly prepare, right Zelgius? Of course we did, yes, very much so. Uh, I know we're in a rush here, but could I possibly run below deck? I think I saw something real nice. Don't worry, I'll be real quick. I mean, sure. Um, is that right here? If so, then, um, let's restart the chapter. Is that- oh. <laughs> Yes, I'd like to quit. <laughs> yes, I would like to do that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm really, really glad that we get to see that. Um, anyway. <laughs> uh, we'll just put her right up here then, and see about that. Uh, actually, that won't quite work either. We need her to be, like, here. Um, I just want to see what that is, like, immediately. So, let's, let's get that. What is she getting? Here we are. Golly, what a lovely bow. This ship's a rental, but I'm sure they wouldn't mind if I used it. I think I'll call it the Wildflower. Yeah, that's got a nice ring to it. Awesome. The Wildflower. Got a Wildflower. Let's see what that is. Rapier effect. Wow. <laughs> Rebecca is suddenly good. <laughs> Very good, actually. That's uh, essentially what I thought the, the uh, Haunts bow was going to do. We'll just throw back the Vulnerary. Oh, nice. Is this... Uh, that's that Donkey Kong Country song. The, uh, the one that I always forget the name of, but the one that I like quite a lot. Anyway, we did properly prepare back in town, so we do have a lot of torch saves to use. Uh, we'll be having a very vast look at this map through the eyes of Torch Staff. Um, and we'll see what the threat is. Let's see. Speed res. Okay. That's cool. Um, I mean, it looks pretty reasonable. Pretty large ship, no doubt. Uh, so one thing that I was actually going to sort of touch upon, um, as you may be able to see with the question of the day, is that Mr. Ricardo, in the newest, um... Oh, actually, I didn't really equip him properly, but I don't really care. I'll just energy blade. Um, one thing that I was going to touch upon is that the, uh, what's it called? Um, the Ricardo is not going to be dealing, um, the crit rate that it has right now. It's going to be losing that crit rate in the newest patch. Um, uh, I was actually advised to update the patch just prior to playing this, uh, map, but I wanted to have a little bit of fun with the crit rate because I earned the crit rate thingy for this one map. I will update it in the next one, no doubt about it, but, uh, oh. Very nice, but I just, I, I want to enjoy it a little bit, you know? Have some fun with it. Because, uh, like, since mine didn't really gather that much in terms of, you know, stats, in terms of magic specifically, he's not really doing too much with all of that. He's kind of just vibing. Now I could see it getting excessive if, say, oh wait, actually I want that support. Um, if, say, like, um, you know, it, he got, like, really magic blessed or something, but it's only a 15% growth, 20% if he used the, uh, the drops. So yes, what is it? Nothing really. Oh yeah, it's uh, just a placeholder. That's all good, that's all good. That'll give me some, uh, wait, is that the one that I wanted? I, it might not be. Chungus and Soldier, that is full crit rate. I'm pretty sure that's the one I wanted. That one and Dalvin on um, Soldier. 
supports with Mathis. Nah, we'll we'll leave that one. But yeah, what do you think about that? It's it's an odd one. I can say with strong certainty that it's it's a really hard point of balance. Like, what do you really do in that scenario? Do you like let the player have a potentially broken Ricardo, um, or do you just kind of let it vibe? You know, because he is already a secret character. He's already like sort of a unit that. I would say most players are not going to put in the effort to, you know, train in, in the same way that I did. Um, it completely depends. It's it's a really hard point of balance. I could see maybe like 10-15% crit rate just sort of floating. Um, my impression is actually that it will not be able to crit at all. Um, I'm not perfectly certain if that's the case, but that's my impression. And if that's the case, it, it truly does make him a useless unit. Um, it makes it so that he like literally can't do anything. <laughs> I do like a little bit of crit rate on the Ricardo since, you know. It's it's just a funny thing. I like funny things in Fire Emblem. Very nice. He actually got doubled by both of those. His speed is not keeping up in the way that it should. Um, or in the way that I wanted it to anyway. But, uh, you know, do be how it is. You know, Chungus actually, he's one of those units that I was expecting to... Well, not exactly expecting, but he has a 5% higher speed growth than Burger King. But he's actually gotten less speed somehow. I guess that's how that'd be. Nice, adept. Very cool. I'm glad that that can proc on enemy phase too. That uh, definitely turns Dalvin into one of those units who's not really without issue, or not really with issue, that is to say. Him and Soldier are honestly just going to carry for the duration of this game, I would say. It's going to be hard for them to fall off. Um, at least that's my impression, you know. Anything can really happen. But uh, with units like this, it really makes you wonder. <laughs> like, come on, Ricardo, he's, he's funny, that's for sure. He's really, really funny, but... Look at Dalvin. <laughs> look at, look at Soldier. You know, kind of. Oh, they actually have their support ready. Cool. So I guess yeah, just play Soldier again. That's understandable. Play Soldier supports, perfectly fine. Perfectly understandable. That is immediate crit rate. Yeah, of course. I'm very happy to see that. The crit rate is going to be coming into play very, very considerably with Soldier here. Um, it doesn't appear as though Soldiers. Ooh, wow. Very good. It doesn't appear as though Soldiers have the. Um, or how birdie is rather have the 10% crit rate. Playable soldier activated. Yeah, or the 15% crit rate as as per usual. Um, I guess I probably shouldn't say usual necessarily, but it's something that uh, certainly comes up. I do want to use Rebecca. Ooh, well that's pretty cool. I do want to use Rebecca as much as I can. I think that having an archer is going to be kind of cool. And I want to see what the B side does for her, because I think that Rebecca could become something kind of crazy if she ends up in the right like class line. Very eager to see how that turns out. It will mend up BK. Send him right on along. I guess I can throw a Physic. I don't really want to though. I'll just throw a Torch back here just in case of reinforcements. You know. You never know actually. Uh, let's see. I'll send Dalvin. I mean, what do I want to do exactly with Dalvin? I think I can honestly just afford to put him out. What's, um, Steel Bow? Okay. Well, I can put him in range of everything, question mark. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. I'll just put him here with a hand axe, or with the energy blade actually, and then he should have a, a great time. Go ahead and trade over the axe reaver on her and put one on Mathis as well. Their combined crit rate is going to, um, I was about to say, this this divine lightning shall pierce the sky. I wish it would do that. You don't really have any lightning swords as of right now. All we have is a Chungus. Also, who's that support with? Uh, that's kind of important I would say. Well, question mark, maybe. Mathis, I hope. Wow, is that already B-Rank? Is it? Or did I... Yeah, it's already B-Rank. Awesome. That's even more crit rate. Um, sort of. Just accidentally. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. No worries. None at all. Not a single worry or fear or iota of anxiety. I just need to learn your speech. So, spit some lines. I'll see what I get. Big, big chungus. Big chungus. Alright, I got a chungus. Some big and I think a question mark. Were you asking something on that second chungus? Say yes or no. Big chungus. <laughs> this is impossible. That's a beautiful support. I'm very, very happy for chungus and mathis. Uh, let's see, so, yeah, so, like, even with a bunch of crits, I, I, it would take three crits to kill that guy, which, to be fair, you know, roughly a 50% chance, so I could see the crit rate being nerfed a little bit, but taking away the entire ability to do so makes me Sag, and as such, I will say that I am Sag about it, and then the emotional response will kick in. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, ultimately, at the end of the day, it's up to, uh, it's up to, uh, Retina, because, you know, their game and stuff, but... I like a little bit of crit rate. Crit rate's fun. It's a very fun mechanic, that's for sure. Anyway, Dalvin's really, like, 
I I cannot underestimate. Well, I cannot overestimate Dolphin really, because he uh kind of just vibes, and then the enemies stop vibing in a very um bloody-ish manner. I would say. Adept, awesome. Okay, so he's just gonna kill all these guys. Very cool. I should probably be doing a little bit better job of uh, experience distribution. That would probably be ideal, but I like Dolphin because he does that. He has 28% chance to proc like Adept now, or Vantage, or no, it's Adept. Wait, no, Adept is speed. Dang it, Dolphin. You could have done better than that. You could have. Anyway, Mathis is um, gonna show him what's... Mathis is gonna show him what you don't do. <laughs> Mathis is gonna show him how you lose favor. <laughs> Um, interesting. So there's a pirate all the way out there. I hope he has a hand axe at least. It'd be kind of weird if he didn't since he's on the water and stuff. Uh, let's see. So, I mean, he took a bit of a beating, no doubt, but he's feeling good. I might give him the angelic robe. I was thinking about giving it to Charlo, but I think Charlo's not going to live anyway. Um, assuming he's like hit, hit a bunch. Let's see. I guess what I'll do is I'll try... I'll see how much Physic heals him. Only 31, so instead of that, I'll, I'll torch with him. Whoops. I meant to do one space more. I think that might have actually just wasted a, a use of the Torch Staff, but that's okay. Perfectly acceptable. Uh, Spirit Ring. Plus two magic when held. Wow. I definitely want that. Guess we'll uh, go get that. Yeah, very convincingly, too. I'll heal him instead of using the Torch Staff. Uh, I almost used the Torch Staff. I want him healed. Very good. Very, very good. I wonder if we can kill him with the iron uh, iron sword. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a thing we can do. Most certainly. Very good. We'll send that back to the convoy and we'll throw that over onto whoever. Um, for now, probably a healer. It'll only give a little bit more. I think it gives one more point of, um, like, staff use, staff movement, something, something, on certain units. Like on, uh, ooh, Tomahawk. Interesting. Do you have Tomahawk too? Hand axe. Interesting. Hmm. Well, it'll give one more point of um, distance on her torch staves, um, since, you know, the basic, like the default um, torch or staff range is five, uh, up until you get more, and then it's staff, or it's magic divided by two. Um, so currently she has six, that would go up to seven. Uh, currently he's still working with his, um, you know, I feel like he should have been better, actually. <laughs> currently he's working with a little bit less. Um, what if Charlo gets dropped? I really don't want to. But it is getting a little bit difficult to justify him over Priscilla. I guess having two healers isn't necessarily a bad thing. Pretty good level up there. Having two healers isn't a bad thing, but I don't know who else I would drop in comparison. I guess Fiona's, like, somehow sort of getting on the chopping block. Not really, but kind of. Um, we'll see if we land all four crits. Yeah. Ooh. Actually, yeah, we only need... <laughs> no, actually, we would not have been able to uh, do that regardless. What's he getting? Yeah, no magic. Everything- he got res for the first time. What's his res growth? 15? Yeah, that makes sense. Well, at least his speed and his HP now are to the point where he won't get killed in one shot, and that's nice. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll place him here with the energy blade and see about that. Maybe this instead? It's not really a big difference. Yeah, it's actually the same weapon, just uh, this one's heavier. And it has a little bit more crit rate. I'll just energy blade. Energy Blade is, um, expendable in a very significant way. We have two of them, after all. I guess it wouldn't be the best thing to use both of them, but both of our... Both of our Energy Blade users have two, you know, sort of ways to, um... Attack with other weapons between Etard and, um... Whatever it is, Hand Axes. Let's see, so... Yeah, we'll just Axe Reaver. If he wants to attack one of us, I don't really mind too much. Um, this is a hard one. Fiona, what do you want to do exactly? So I don't want to, like, attack into these guys and then suddenly get ambushed, but I don't think that I can. I think that the movement would be too much. So maybe we just... Hmm. Yeah, she is starting to fall off a little bit for sure. It's mostly because she can't double anymore, but I'm still going to use her. I still definitely want to use her. I enjoy her a lot. I'll just place her here with a steel bow, and then we'll end up probably healing her. And, um, that should work out. Ooh. Interesting. Is that a, is that a fighter? That might be a fighter. I'm pretty sure that's a fighter. Yeah. I'm not used to the, uh, like, updated journeyman as the fighter yet. It's still one of those things that gets to me almost. Yeah, attacks into Mathis. Makes perfect sense. He does get hit also. That also does make perfect sense. I have no luck with hit rates, but that's fine. 
Ah, uh, let's see. Shaman. Okay. Yarhar hey, Yarhar ho. Let's loot all of their dough. Oh, it's Arvis. Hey, mate, they'll never see it coming. Or I, mate. Our seafaring brothers will cross the sea. And it'll be curtains for them. If I may, Cap, how do or how do they walk on the sea? Would they sink? Or it said every sea dog is a reincarnation of Christ. Reincarnation of Christ. Awesome. That's where we get it from. Aha, uh -huh, of course. Keel haul me with a rusty scalawag. It all makes sense. Tis that and a bottle of rum. Awesome. I love pirates. Pirate dialogue is some of my favorite in Fire Emblem. Energy blade, steel sword, tomahawk, steel axe. Yeah, this is a fighter. Awesome. Well, I think we have one Mr. Dalton, who is very, very capable, very robust in his ways, and very much able to just stand there menacingly. Um, however, I will definitely heal him to full before I do that, and uh, I will try to kill as many of these as I can prior to doing that as well. Mr. Burger King has no such issues. He, um, he just throws down, and then they get thrown down through the floor as the bodies fall. Let's see, speed please? Yeah, there we go, that's what I like to see. Just a simple request, that's all it takes. Just like ordering food at Burger King. You ask and you shall receive. Okay, Javelin. Yep. Yeah, Soldier is crazy. I very much somehow underestimate her, even still. Because like, I don't know, she's great, she really is. But I, I somehow in the early game don't expect to have a unit with 27 strength and 21 speed. It's, she's great, I, I really enjoy using her. Um, okay, so you could be an issue. I don't really have any healing left. I guess we'll just shoot with Rebecca, and then... Could I... I, I mean, I, I I could use the Haunts bow, but, like, I wouldn't have any movement left anyway, so it doesn't matter. Ricardo. Come on. Let me have my crit rate, please. I just... I just want it. <laughs> That's all. Anyway, we should be able to get through this guy without too much issue. Between Rebecca and Jungus. Um, I'm gonna try to give the kill to Rebecca, because I want her to hit level 10 by the end of this map. Um, so we can see what the B-side does for her at the start of the next one. If we can do that, and she becomes something good-ish, you know, never know what she could become. But if she does, I'd, I'd be very happy to see that. If she becomes a fighter, especially, I think that would be my favorite thing, because then she would become a warrior, and she would get her bows back. And that would be a lot of fun. And also she would have axes, just like her brother Dart. That would be... Pretty, pretty wholesome. Question mark, maybe. Um, so two sorties shouldn't really be too much of an issue for Dalvin. I do kind of overestimate his defenses a little bit, especially in comparison to Soldier. Um, but it is generally okay. Yeah, I'll just, uh, Energy Blade. I'll also swap over to Energy Blade on him. I think. I'll swap to this one instead. It doesn't matter too much. Um, especially... Well, this should work, and then if it doesn't, then... Well, no, it'll work. Um, I was going to say, I should probably check to see what the Shaman can do to Burger King. Because if it can double him, he might die. His, he's not known for his res, necessarily. Man, the music is really calming, though. I really enjoy this. It's uh, I always forget the name of it. It's like um, the underwater theme from Donkey Kong. Uh, six speed, so actually we'll be doubling him. Very good. Uh, yep. Very, very good. Let's see. So he'll die. Um, Soldier could take that if she wanted to. Um, I mean, I guess Fiona can just stand here, maybe take a Vulnerary. I think that'd be kind of nice, as opposed to the, uh, thingy there. That way I don't necessarily have to use my healing, um, at, you know, I, 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 like, I like to use the Torch Staff, it's kind of nice. Dalvin. Uh, Dalvin doesn't really have great res either, he's sort of, um... I don't know, he's not as tanky as he looks. He's got a lot of HP, and that's what's hard carrying him right now. I think that the en enemy scaling um, with regard to the, you know, units that were given does actually work pretty well. Um, the biggest thing that I was worried about was my units becoming, like, super overpowered. And, like, to an extent, you know, Soldier is sort of there, but not to the extent that I'm, like, worried or anything. Because I feel like at a certain point, enemies will become strong enough that it'll, it'll, it'll still p provide some meaningful pushback against me. Ooh. Alright, they spawn on the water, interesting. Well, let's see. Well, I guess I can just shoot them then. Um, maybe I'll throw a torch back this way with Charlo. We'll see what happens. Oh, let's see. He needs to get some more levels, honestly. I don't know if I want to go ahead and promote him. He's really not getting much in terms of level ups, really. He's kind of falling behind in a significant way. But, um, 
you know, he's Charlo, so we've got to keep using him. He's got that support with Jungus, uh, Wildflower. No, I don't want to use that. Hmm. Well, I mean, I guess Zephyrin could do something. I just want to see the Divine Animation. It's, it's, oh, I, yeah, whoosh. It's one of my favorite animations, pretty easily. One of the best, um, you know, GBA magic animations there is. Very simple, very nice, very clean. Let's go ahead and shoot this guy. Ooh, very nice. Yeah, even with, um, even with four crits there, he wouldn't have died. And that's a fully trained Ricardo. <laughs> Uh, let's see. So Wildflower, uh, it's as strong as a Steel Bow. That's pretty cool. Haunts Bow, that way I can Canto. Um, it's Kill Boss, so I don't really have to worry about the enemies too much. Uh, let's not do that, actually. <laughs> Go ahead and heal up or mend up rather on Mathis. Probably kill the Tomahawk one. I'd say that the Warrior there should fall to the combination of Soldier and Dalvin without too much issue. When that inevitably happens, I'll be very pleased. Um, so Ricardo was a secret character, so we would have chest keys available for this chest. Uh, do you drop anything? Speedwing. Awesome. You'd love to see it. Axe revert up. Probably one round him. Yep. <laughs> yep. Very handily. Very, very handily. Silver Axe is going to do nothing. <laughs> it was going to be a big, big hurdy, but, uh, not anymore. Um, so I'm under the assumption that the boss is Arvis, and that's going to make me very happy because that means I get to kill him. <laughs> that, that's the thing that I like. Um, let's see, uh, yeah, we should definitely take care of this soldier, or this uh, pirate, rather. Give Chungus the uh, ability to potentially crit, and if not, then Rebecca gets the kills, just as I wanted. Gotta be a little bit careful. I think there was one pirate to the back. Ah, never mind. I thought there was, but quite luckily there was not. Iron bow? Not quite, so steel bow. Gotta be really careful with Charlo. He 100% still gets destroyed upon hit. I thought about giving him the Angelic Robe just because, you know, if he does get hit, he does die. Almost 100% of the time, because his speed is not... It's not there. It's really just not. Um, otherwise... I mean, really, he's not doing too well. I might have to drop him. I really might, just because of the levels he's gotten. It's, it's kind of hard to justify him, especially if we land another healer at a certain point. The biggest thing about him is that he has really, really funny dialogue, and I don't want to miss out on any of it, but I might have to at a certain point. Uh, alright, so, there we go. Hopefully we're fine here. Killer Lance Javelin, surely don't move, cool. Um, if there's a guy right here, one, two, three, four, five, well, if there's a guy up to right here with magic, I'm assuming one, two, three, four, five, and attack to there then Fiona could be in danger, so I'm not going to attack into that guy. Um, let's see, she's the only one left. Maybe I'll just take a chest key, actually. Because, you know, I have a bunch of them, might as well use them. Ricardo is going to be um, taking some time to get up there anyhow. Let's see how it goes. You know, this is a very fun boat map. Oh, okay, so I was right about there being a guy there. Ooh, a lot of pirates. Very, very many. Very, very calm, relaxing devil acts. I'm pretty sure that those words are not supposed to go together. Might injure its wielder for 27 might. Well, we have one particular Chungus with zero luck who is very capable of using that axe. Could he use the axe? Probably not. The answer is almost certainly no. But it's pretty funny. I like the devil axe. That's a fun weapon. Very glad that we get one somewhat early on. Uh, let's see, so... Maybe I'll just hand a javelin you, because, uh, yeah, you'll die. <laughs> and then we'll put, um, Dalvin up closer. With an iron sword or some such, and he should be able to run through whatever he needs to. What a unit. Um, plus they do have that support in action, so maybe I could just hand axe. I think I'll just hand axe. We have a bunch of them. The energy blade is a little bit more valuable, just in case we end up with another sword, uni uh, sword user who would want to make use of it. Never know, there might be a Myrmidon who is capable of um, promoting the Swordmaster. Go ahead and shoot with Ricardo. Let's see. Bop. Very good. Okay, that should be a Rebecca kill. I think I'm going to have Chungus. Oh, that's actually a uh, Ricardo kill. Cool. <laughs> right, he does have that a little bit. And he also has Gale Force, so he's going to get to move again. And uh, that means another one. Okay, now I can see how he's a little bit broken. <laughs> now I can see it. 
if you let him, if you use him to your great advantage, he's a little bit crazy. And that's understandable. Um, let's see. So I'll have to stay. I'll have to stand in front of Rebecca with Chungus. Ooh, sure shot. Oh no, Glacies. Okay, that's what that was. I thought about giving her the um, the uh, talisman just because of that, but I felt like it was perhaps a waste. Um. Mathis cannot quite reach as I expected he would be able to, but I think that's okay. None of these units will die to this guy. Um, I mean, I guess I could just uh, stand right here so that he is, um, you know, blocked off and stuff. Or I could stand here. It's a hard choice. It's a very hard choice. Let's see what awaits us. I don't. I think she'll live a hit, right? 14 speed, 4 defense, as long as you're not doing 30. 33. Well, <laughs> that's not okay then. Uh, let's see. You're fine, right? I think you should be. You'll be taking some damage, but it's not too bad. Yeah, I guess we'll just uh, stand here and uh, maybe I'll stand here and Energy Blade. Maybe that's the play instead. Or this one, because maybe a little bit of crit rate. Understandable. Uh, Mathis is just out of range, but maybe with his aggravation I can cause the uh, enemies to attack into him instead. And then Priscilla. I'll put you right here. Throw a torch this way. And that should work out for you. I do hope we get another magic user soon. Because the magic ring would be good on, like, obviously a magic user. Uh, biggest issue with that now is that uh, we're just generally, generally sort of lacking that. I decided not to use Hugh after all. Um, he would have been deployed on every map up to this point. Except for, you know, since we have Ricardo, he's, uh, he's taking up that deployment spot. Uh, right. Very good, aggravation coming in handy. Big Chungus with aggravation is about to be absurd. I wonder what the, um, like, AI behind aggravation is? It's probably pretty, like, simple, I would say. If a unit can attack into this unit, they probably will, but... I wonder if there are, like, stipulations to that. Like, if they're not taking damage or something, maybe it won't activate the same way. Okay, Rebecca. Actually, what I'll do is I'll give a kill to Ricardo. Um... Nice, okay, good. Yeah, 60 crit rate I could see being excessive, but like 10 or 15 would be fine. Yep, as expected. All of those are at 100%, so... Works for me. Get a couple of crits here, I hope. Very good. Very good, okay. So that should be two super, super dead units. Get Chungus healed up and then use Rebecca. Uh, hopefully with the Iron Bow. Yeah, she can kill that one. Very good. Very, very fun. Archers are cool. Use archers, please. Archers are so much fun. Love them. Naomi is my favorite, of course. Great level up. It's a little bit weird to me still seeing um, speed on the side there. More used to... Uh, what is it usually? I think luck? Question mark? Mm, I don't quite recall. Because usually Khan is on the bottom of the um, stat up menu. And uh, obviously Khan doesn't have a growth, so it's a little bit less like impactful to see it. Um, on like a perfect level up or something, but I like it because that's what I'm used to. I'm very much used to it, and as such, that's that's how I derive my enjoyment. Um, well, let's uh, let's see what happens when we throw a torch. This might be the last turn. Whoosh. Oh, Arvis. Right. Okay. He's really fallen a long way, and he has 30% extra crit. Interesting. Does he move? Okay. Cool. He doesn't. Uh, Brave Axe and Hand Axe. Brave Axe with a 39% crit, okay. Well, in that case, we'll be having some fun. Um, oh wait, Dalvin could use the Devil Axe, couldn't he? Is that something that I want to do? I don't think it is. I th actually, you know, let's, let's give that to him. That's something that I want to see. 20 uses, he has how much luck? Only 9. It's not that good, but is capable of using it, and that's the thing that makes me want to do that. Now, let's see, that was the Fiona, Fiona support, so I don't want that one. Let's see what happens. Let's find out. Also, it's a good thing that Chungus came with the um, Hoplon Guard, or else I think he would probably be, be our worst unit, because he's getting doubled, and, uh, you know, he would be crit a bunch of times with his zero luck. He's only got like a 10% growth or something. Yeah, he gets that level a lot, doesn't he? Maybe I'll just go ahead and promote him in the next map. Um, he's very large. Gotta move on, they won't stop coming. Oh no. The strongest men are starting to directly board our ship. Must end this as soon as possible. Okay, so that'll be a, uh, sort of a Delta Squad. 
Um, understandable enough. Whoosh. I am kind of interested to see how they are. It's like, how they are, of course. Uh, because I am very capable of killing him. Uh, actually. <laughs> actually, maybe not. Uh, let's see, so, probably the play here is to use the Hoplon Guard and bait out the Hand Axe. I think that's probably necessary, actually. Um, even though... I mean, I could just two-range him at this point. I could just do that. Yeah, I could actually just do that, and that works perfectly. Um, there's even a chance that she crits and one-shots him here. Guahaha, you got a lot of... yeah, trying to take me on. Okay, I was really hoping for the crit there. That's a clean pallet, though. That's a good Berserker pallet. Um, could Fiona get the kill? Maybe. Potentially. Nah, I'm just gonna use Devil Axe because that's fun. Oh, Fiona gets the kill after all. Awesome. Very good. I'm happy with that. Guahaha, I envy your skill. Man, let them go. They've bested your dear captain. Very good. I'm happy that we have bested him. He does not deserve life. Yep, not even remotely. <laughs> I don't want to hear anything in the comments about him doing nothing wrong, because that's false. <laughs> oh, interesting. Is that, uh, Nihil? Nihil, I think. Maybe. Question mark. We'll see. Ooh, that was quite the battle. I'll make sh uh, I'll make sure our ship is still undamaged. Storm seems to be getting worse. Selgius. Who's there? Answer me. Selgius, find me. Come to the Temple of Whopper. There will you, you will learn of your destiny. Okay, let's go get a Whopper, alright. How about the original chicken sandwich? Or maybe the, um, maybe some, uh, some of their French toast sticks if it's breakfast hour. Uh, wh what does this mean? Learn my destiny? Hey, Zelgius, we've got a problem. Ships aren't normally supposed to have this much water in them, right? Saffron, I know where we must go. What? I can hardly hear you. I said I know what we must... Awesome. Very fun. That was a very cool chapter. Um, thank you for joining me for this one. I will update the patch between episodes. Ricardo will no longer have crit rate on his uh, gun. On his Ricardo. But it was fun. It was fun while it lasted. It most certainly was. Um, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to share so that more people can see this hack. Um, also, I guess I should note, if you do want to play this for yourself, make sure to join the Discord. And then within my Discord, in the self-promotion tab, pinned is the link to Code of the Burger King's Discord server. If you want to play the game for yourself, you can go there to do that. Um, if ever a uh, FEU page comes out for the game, I will update the first and presumably last episodes with that, um, and every episode following the one where it's out, of course, but uh, for now there's no such thing. Um, I guess if you feel like donating via Kofi, I'd very much appreciate it. You can pay for my Ricardo crying morning costs. I don't know, man. I really don't. Uh, but I guess that's all I have to say. So until next time, I'll see you later.